Hey, girl. Hey. So please tell our dear listeners about that time you had the face covered with notes. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was just a joke. Nobody's ever covered my notes in my face girl, in notes. as I was sitting yesterday at... Uh, dear listeners, a dear friend of mine was visiting from the far west. Uh, San, dear, dear friend San Jose. Of ours. Um, he, he was visiting Raleigh from the far west, San Jose, and so he 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 brought a friend with him. The friend from Raleigh, anyway, whatever. The friend from Raleigh was like, you know, blah blah blah, talking mad shit about this horrible person that I know, and he's like, but he's got such a beautiful penis. Sometimes, you know, it's so funny. I was just thinking about that earlier today. The dear today. Lord's got to give you at least one thing. Well, I was just thinking to myself, it's really so funny because all of the female friends that we've ever had, right, they always used to joke, especially when we were teenagers, they'd always joke about how ugly penises are. Uh-huh. And, and, I, and I always said it was just strange because all of our straight female friends would always talk about that. I'm like, I, and then you'd talk to guys and some of our straight guy friends would be like, yeah, vaginas are ugly. I'm like, Something seems off about all of this. It's almost as mm-hmm. if you all don't actually like each other's sexual organs. I mean, I've seen an ugly dick before. Have you never seen an ugly dick? Oh, I remember, um, what's his name? <laughs> Bobbit. I remember seeing his porno, uh, Frank and Weenie. Um, it was called, that was a, um, no, I meant, I meant like one that had not gone through trauma. Oh, <laughs> oh well, yeah, I've seen those too, but. but... <laughs> The first one that always comes to mind if someone says that is that Frank and Weenie. It was by God, Frank and Weenie. Now from Disney. <laughs> Speaking of, have you seen Encanto yet? <laughs> I do plan to watch. You know what? I will tell you this. This is very oh, well, tell true. me, tell me. Girl, I have me. actually made some plans. Oh, to, you've got plans to catch up on all of the Disney movies that I've been missing because I think I've, I'm behind like five or six at this point. Which ones um, are you missing? All of the ones from the pandemic. I haven't watched any of those. Um, like the Pixar ones, the one about the two, the troll brother one. Oh, the... oh, oh, that one. I watched that on the plane. Yeah, that one's like good. I, that, yeah, one, like, that one, that one, seen... I think you're going to enjoy that one. I haven't seen Soul yet. I haven't seen Turning Red yet. Oh, I haven't have seen. Soul. Why are you going to watch Soul? It won the Oscar. <laughs> of course it did. It was a di- Pixar movie. Oh, I mean, okay. Anyway. I'm you just... gotta watch Tina Fey be a little white ghost. I could. I don't have the same issues with Tina Fey. Oh, I love <laughs> Tina Fey. I think she's hilarious. You just think she, she's a bad actress. She's a bad actress and verges on racism sometimes. Speaking of verging on racism, did you know who's going to host SNL next week? I did not think that's right. I thought you were going to use the Patreon. I know, I know you did. I know you did. I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> Do you know who's hosting it? SNL no. next week, Dave no. Chappelle. Ooh. In this time of Yeezy, they've decided to, Lorne Michaels has decided to give Dave Chappelle a platform, platform. to speak to us. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. I guess, I guess Lorne uh, feels like He's going to be the, 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 the smack that we needed after the election. I, I said that if I, you know, if I were Bowen Yang or uh, Punky, I don't remember where her last name is, the, the black lesbian on there, um, I would walk. I, that, that day, I would just walk out. Like, there's no way I would be anywhere near him. I don't know. It's, it's very weird the way, you know, because, I mean, you got to think about there are certain parts of the queer population that still defend him. So, I mean, it's not, it's not pleasant to me, but there are, especially the ones that seem to have a, a very strong dislike of trans people for well, whatever that reason is. God bless JK Rowling. <laughs> I know I'm going to play that game. I don't care. I'm going to play it. I thought that that, that that mug you have just had said, dad mug on it but it's squad goals oh dear listeners i need to apologize for something last week i said we were in season three of designing women no 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 y'all we're in season four we 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 are 
Yeah, we finished season three. Yeah, you and I talked about that. This was season three, Wait, episode one. Yeah, we talked about is season, season four. Yeah, girl, we're in season four. Hold, I thought that Suzanne got fat in three. No, she gets, well, she does, but they hide it. So she started to get fat in four. She gets, it gets real uncomfortable in five. She's gone in six. That's crazy. We've already gotten through three seasons. Uh huh. How about that? Girl, speaking about how about that, did you know we have a Patreon? Dear what? Listeners, if you want to send us some money, go to patreon.com. We have some a May. new patron, patron, patron as well. Well, no, we don't. We, we announced them last time, girl. Oh. We, we didn't on the other podcast, but thank oh, you, Adam, again. Yeah, thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> Girl, well, I mean, remember, if you don't remember, we actually did our patrons. We just said thank you like a couple of episodes. Uh, That's we, true. We thank you, Adam. One. Thank you. I'll be reaching out to you about the things we do for our patrons eventually. It takes. Oh my god, time. we are approaching the blackface episode. Yes, girl. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I just I looked at IMDb. I was like, oh. Yeah. It's yes, coming. girl. Yes, girl. Um. Uh, Dear listeners, we also have another podcast. It's called You Slay. You Slay Me. It's a Murder, She Wrote podcast. Mame, did you know you can get that whenever you get your podcasts? Really? Hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know we have merchandise? Really? We do. If you go to mimsandmame.com, Mame, you can get yourself a shirt. Mimsandmame.com, Mame. That sounded weird coming yeah. out of your mouth. <laughs> Just like shirt. <laughs> hey, Aww. Mame. Yes. If you really like this podcast, you should give it a five star review. Oh, I'll make sure I do that. Yeah, thank you. And subscribe. Yes. <laughs> Mame, focus on the damn podcast. <laughs> no, I am. I'm just making sure that the Blackface episode is actually on Hulu. Just it now. is. Like, I've already sure. checked. We're going to be watching it. It's going to be the moment that my husband decides to not watch the show anymore. <laughs> once again, let me just say, <laughs> once again, it's... Never mind. I'll wait till that episode. <laughs> yeah. Girl, we've got we got a few more episodes to get through before we get next to that week point. is a humdinger. Ah, is it? Such a good one. Okay. Oh, next week is a hilarious episode. Okay. Well, let's get that's through one this the, one first it's, then. It's, it's one of the ones that's imprinted itself in my mind. That's okay, well, but is. not that not this one though. This is season four, episode two. That's not this actually one is night, to me. Let me get through the oh, yeah. fucking intro this is season four episode two one night with you i'm julia sugar bakers I, I, i'm julia sugar bakers I, I, i'm julia sugar bakers I, I, i'm julia sugar bakers and that marjorie just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the light went out in Georgia. The light went out, the light went out, the light went out, the light went out. And that is the night the light went out in Georgia. Well, now you do. Now, Mame, you were saying. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Thank God. <laughs> we are at Sugar Bakers, Mame. Sugar Bakers. And Suzanne is on the phone. Who's she on the phone with? Well, she's wearing a lovely Lane Bryan outfit. Thank you for asking. She is. I loved it personally. Suzanne is getting mud money for project literacy. Oh. And she's having to shame the person on the call into giving them money. Is it Helen Van Patterson Patton? It's not Helen Van Patterson Patton. Oh, darn it. I it should have been. It, it should have been. been Helen. Hi, Helen. Yep, it should have been. <laughs> It I should think, have been. I think we meet Helen Van Patterson Patton in the next episode, actually. Um, <laughs> but it, it, like, she's really shaming them. And so she gets off the phone and she walks over, and Charlene's even more pregnant than what she was before. 
Yes. And she that... she's eating all the peanut butter. This peanut butter jar makes it through this entire damn episode. Like keeps going from <laughs> desk to desk to desk with a knife in it. And they're all just eating off the same knife the entire time. Did you notice that? I forgot about 80s maternity dresses until Charlene's outfit. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, girl, they're just uh, like fat drag queen dresses. Just a big yes. square. <laughs> Just, just you cut a rectangle. It's one seam all the way around. <laughs> it's like a drag queen dress without a belt. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, it really is. It's not. It's not a frame. It's just. It's. It's a tent. <laughs> Actually, what is it? <laughs> what is? They don't wear the belt anymore. Now they wear those weird, like corset belt looking things. No, like everybody really, has those them. ugly. Oh, down here, everybody does it. Like every those like fourteen dollar Amazon corset belt things. No, every no, the kind and of I Mer- mean, oh. on top of some cute dresses. Yeah, they will put that on. I'm like, the, the, the thing like Mary Jo was wearing a few episodes ago. Kind yes. of yes. Yes, yes, I know exactly what you're... epidemic down here. They, they are, well, girl, they all got COVID and they lost their minds. <laughs> Thanks, Ron DeSantis. <laughs> he kept our state open. <laughs> oh, girl, I saw I saw a shirt today. Let me let me read to you what the shirt said. Oh, hold sweet on, just, Lord. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to I have to scroll up because I sent sent it to my to my husband here we go you ready no i tested positive for freedom oh uh shut up (laughs) Uh. dear listeners i've decided to start jogging um so i i was jogging this was at the end of my jog as i was walking back to my car and this man came walking by in the shirt and I I know that my eyes rolled all the way back in my head I think I've gotten to the point now where I'm almost like avoiding the public because I so I don't just randomly scream at people because mm-hmm. I'm starting to feel like it's getting to that point yeah yeah I tested positive for freedom oh although I didn't... girl <laughs> earlier in the jog there was a photographer mm-hmm. who who I, I know lightly, um, like I've, I've I've he's a gay, mm-hmm. and he was taking pictures of this little gay guy for his dating profile. Like they went up to a fence around a lake. He's like, "Well, do this now. Pose like this now. Pose like this." I'm like, "My God, that's where we're going at this point. That's where we're getting to now. That's what we're getting to now. Yeah, I can never be single again." I just, I can never be single again. Girl, yes, you can, but you'll just be like an old maid. It's fine. Mm-mm. Or just a drag queen. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I just, Lord. Yeah, but remember the drag. Oh, Lord, that's true. Well, you know, I made the mistake, yeah, she, she, right? She's got to have a thought eventually, y'all. Go on. I became the drag queen after I got got the man, so it might be more difficult if I have to get find another one, because you know how they are about drag queens, even the bearded ones. <laughs> Yes, girl. You you're always gonna get laid. You may not have anything permanent, but at least you'll get your um. Stop talking about my rental months. agreement. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, Charlene knows some people who say she can help with the money. She knows Mister Sam. Who's that? That's Sam like Walton. Queen. Oh, Walmart. Oh, Pre-death. Pre-death. Dear listeners, I went to school with a Walton. Um, They, this lovely, she was a granddaughter, great, or grandniece or something. This at Wake Forest? Yes. She would, she would, um, apparently, no, I never saw it, but apparently she would have a helicopter come pick her up. And take her to her private mountain with the freshly laid snow so that she could go skiing on it. It must be nice being a multi, 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 multi billionaire. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> um, I love when they're like, we're no different than anybody else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, she she definitely was different than everybody else. Um, she just again i never met her so i i shouldn't speak ill of her but the stories i heard 
the stories you heard, girl. I yeah. heard. I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> as long as you be mine. <laughs> Don't I look like one of them raisins? Anyway. So... <laughs> Just the white co- white chocolate covered one. Dear listeners, if you didn't know, back in the eighties, there were some <laughs> claymation raisins. The California called, raisins. Called the California raisins. They were basically the Temptations. They, they were fantastic. Temptations. It was like, I think they actually had some of the people from those bands singing yeah, their yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I used to collect them. I did remember too. Hardy's, Hardy's, Hardy's yep. had them. Yes. <laughs> I love them. I was so excited I did too. every time. I did every... too. They had the weirdest smell. Yep. Mm-hmm. Every time my dad would bring one home, it was like you would think he brought home gold. So yep. Excited. You're like, oh my god, it's a California raisin. Simpler time. And then they had that horrible Christmas special. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, mm-hmm. Mary Jo knows that. So Suzanne's never heard of Sam Walton. She's like, is he richer than Trump? And Mary Jo's like, yes, he's definitely richer than Donald Trump. And she knows he's the richest because she read it in Forbes magazine at her dentist's office. Oh, well, there you go. That's now, I would also like to note right here that Mary Jo's accent, this episode, is turned up to a 12. Yes. I, I don't know. I don't it's know. Been like that. It's been like that this whole season so far. Yeah, it's like very... her character has had very they're subtle, but the way her hair mm-hmm. is, the way her clothes are, her character has changed. And I'm yep. assuming I don't know, but I'm assuming we're supposed to assume it's because of the whole breakup with JD and like Maybe. she's just a different person. Maybe Cause... I mean next season her hair goes back to normal. So there you go. Well, I mean there goes that theory. I mean she can only spend so much time in hair and makeup, right? <laughs> They're probably they like, gotta get. They gotta keep getting the Emmy nomination, the one Emmy nomination that they got for this show, but never win. Um, so Charlene also knows Fr- Fred Smith, creator of uh, FedEx, mm-hmm. and Win Rockefeller, who mm. is 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 a Rockefeller, right? Like, right? Who's in Arkansas? Uh huh. Well, Suzanne's like, well, if you could do all that, could you also help with the keynote speaker? Charlie said, like, yeah, it's you're you're talking about literacy, right? She's like, Yeah. Well, I can get you Bill Clinton. Well, who what? Is, who's Bill Clinton? The governor, his whole thing is literacy. Yeah, I I does Bill Clinton show up at some point on this show? No. Oh. No, I think the only celebrity we see at this point is like Dolly later. Okay. Well, damn. You know, I mean, do we at least get Bill Clinton's brother? <laughs> What's his name? Roger. Roger Clinton. There we go. Why do I remember that? God. <laughs> it's so weird. You see, you said it, and I was being me like, oh, yeah, uh-huh. Roger. Yeah. yeah. He was a scuzz bucket, wasn't he? Oh, he was. Did... Oh. oh. Boy, I mean, was dear listeners, not that, not that Slick Willie isn't a scuzz bucket, too. But. <laughs> I mean, there's scuzz bucket, and then there's the scuzz under the scuzz bucket. I mean, they're both pretty. Like, mm. yeah. <laughs> well, Julia comes in. Hey, Julia. How and, are you doing? And she's like, what are y'all talking about? And Suzanne's like, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Hey, Julia, who's the richest man in the world in America? What's Sam Walton? Suzanne, friend of Charlene. Char- Did you know there's a Rockefeller uh, that lives in... Arkansas, Julia. Well, yes, that's Wynn Rockefeller, who is uh, Winton Rockefeller's son, who is who used to be governor. The governor's now Bill Clinton, and they're all friends with Charlene. <laughs> and Suzanne looks like face crack. <laughs> it is like, y'all planned this shit. Y'all planned this. I loved it. I was like, I mean, it was very silly in a way, though, because it's kind of it has now been now that we've officially arrived that it's been four seasons at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and Charlene's had some scenarios that she probably could have used some of the help from yeah. these people. Well, they were all in Arkansas. Arkansas. I, you know, and this, but knowing people in the state government, because you know, I live in Raleigh, so I know people mm. in the state government. Yes. Um, 
it kind of is like that. Like my my old coworker's wife was just really good f- friends with Governor Cooper. Like wow, yeah, she 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 worked with him a lot, and she's like, yeah, we talk sometimes. Oh wow, yeah, it's 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 it really is kind of like that. I would think that if I was closer to the Capitol here, I would just tell people like, yeah, I know the Gator Boys. <laughs> Who were the Gator Boys? They're celebrities here in Florida. And this is they had a TV show for a while. It's a thing. I was just making are they, fun of Are Florida. they the ones who go out on like the in the on the like boats with the 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 the, the, the whatever they're called, the airboat thing? The airboats, and, yes. Yes. Have you ever been yes. on one of those? Yes. You have to do that when you live here. <laughs> Is it fun? You know, I will say for any person that comes down to South Florida, any of the areas that are around the actual Everglades, Mm -hmm. they are really enjoyable if you like nature. Um, Because it is a very, it's not like a landscape you're ever going to see anywhere Mm -hmm. else. So I do, I enjoy that part of it. But there is that second part where you have to get off of the airboat tour and then go watch them play around with the alligators in that little area. Um, That part's after the first time you see it, you're like, okay. That's I good. mean, could, could I skip that? It's all part of the package. No, I don't want that. I, I like. I would not mind a quicker airport tour. You know, maybe like an hour sitting there drinking a beer, watching. You know, kind of like when, kind of like whenever you do the architecture tour in in Chicago. You know, on the flatboat, you go down the river. You mm-hmm. know, do that. Like, and then see some nature. They may have tours like that. I don't know. Everybody I've ever gone on, gone with, because I always go to, I always take out of town people. So I don't know. They may have one that's just the boat. Yeah. Boat. I I don't, I don't. If, if, if you ever want to take me, just make sure it doesn't have the alligator park. I don't care about that. I think actually when you, when you come, Mm -hmm. um, it might actually be a good time to go because it's not going to be too hot. Yeah. Um, Because I took my mom. It was hot. Yeah. Yeah. By God, I could just, I could see you handing out the Obama fans. <laughs> ah, the church fans. <laughs> Not the ones with Martin Luther King, the no, Obama the ones. the new one, the new ones. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> here, Mama, here's the fan. I don't know, it's hot. It's hot out here. Don't worry, this will double too. If that gator comes up on the boat, just smack him on the face. This God, that's the one thing I am a little afraid of. Gator, I, we saw some. I mean, they were there. Like, it, I'm sure they were. I, I think I've been like, I think I've been like three times now at this point, and mm-hmm. um, this was the most I saw this time was with mm. with, my, with my mom. I mean, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I've I've been to South Carolina, so I've seen them. Like, you know, just walking at Boardwalk on the beach and all those. There's just some alligators. Right? Hey, girl, how are you? <laughs> They're like, what's up? Like, hey. hey, boo-boo, how you doing? You getting some rats? All right. That's good on you, girl. Good on you. Oh, Somebody God. got to. Somebody got to. Well, Albert Calloway is here. He's a that guy. Who is that? Who is that? Albert he, he's, he's a that guy. He's a that guy. Yeah, he is a that guy. Yeah. What's he? What's he want? What's he want? Well, he wants to talk to Mrs. Sugarbaker, and he's like, "Well, by the way that I was described, you must be Mrs. Sugarbaker." And he goes to Suzanne. She's like, "Oh, well, yes, that's me." Hmm. Mm-hmm. He works for the Make a Dream Come True Foundation. Oh. Because they couldn't say Make a Wish. No, they copyright. Can't say that. <laughs> they tried to get sued, girl. Um, speaking of that, have you ever heard of Evermore? No. So Evermore, the, my my husband was just watching a three hour YouTube thing about it. It's very, it's kind of interesting. It is a RPG LARP park in Utah that was started and has kind of failed a couple of times. Okay. And like, it's very weird. Anyway, it's in Utah. I mean, that doesn't even that doesn't even sound like a place where that will be a popular. Well, trike of attraction. The 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 I, I highly suggest watching it because it is fascinating about how it started and all the okay. like stuff they've me, been through. Tell them to send me a link so I can watch it because you the, know I love docu- the, I love documentaries. The so. thing that is um, the funny part, mm-hmm. you know that uh, Taylor Swift had an album called Evermore. Yes, they sued her. And she was like, her lawyers were like, well, 
it's a word, so you can't sue us over that. And number two, you're in your park. You have people singing songs that are copywritten, including ones from Evermore. So we highly suggest you um, drop this lawsuit as we are countersuing you now. And if you drop the lawsuit, we'll just forget all about this. <laughs> did not think that through. Uh, no, they did not. No, it was started by tech bros. So, you know. <clears throat> say no more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> say, like literally, say no more. So there's a man in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. He's dying from lymphoma. Oh. oh. He was a classmate. Mrs. Sugarbakers. Oh, okay. And he wants to spend one night with her. One night only. One, one night, night only. only. That's all I have to say. One <laughs> night only. If only for today. I can keep on going, but I'll stop. <laughs> you want all my love and my devotion. I've done that song in drag. Girl, that song is so good. It is. It is. Seventies version and the modern version. Uh-huh. Both of them. No. Uh-huh. Mm. I did the modern one because, Ooh. you know, I'm a Come modern on. lady. Come on, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Come mm-hmm. on, girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Charlene is like, Well, isn't that just romantic and sad? And the man's na- the man, the the, the 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 person came in, he's like, his his name is Donald Stillman. Okay. And he looks older than you, Suzanne. Oh. Well, most people do. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what she says. Almost everyone does. <laughs> and she's like, well, you know, I'm not really going to spend a night with him because that's strange. Um, but I'll send, him an, I'll send him an autograph picture. <laughs> so he gets up to go and get an address from the car. Char- Charlene's like, well, you know, this is a dying man's request. But Suzanne, that probably happens to you all the time, seeing as the... Men you date in the hospital. Um, I love that joke. I did too. I did too. <laughs> oh, let's dunk on Suzanne today. Uh huh. And Julia's like, "Well, you should meet him." And and Suzanne's like, "I don't know, but maybe I'll send him a, a ribbon or two from when I won." Some pageants. Yeah. And so the man comes in. And he's like. She's like, well, here, uh, here's my address. I'll take the address from you. And he's like, you can call me whatever my name is. She's like, oh, well, you call me Suzanne. He's like, Suzanne? Mm-hmm. Is there another sugar baker? He's like, oh, was this for Julia? Hold on just a second. I can, I can fix it. And she's like, <laughs> cheeses up. It's like, hey, Julia, I think this is for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love it. I do too. I do too. Uh, so it's a little bit later on, mm-hmm. and they pull out all of Julia's old annuals, her high school annuals, try to find them because the man has to be somewhere, right? I mean, I would think so, but you know, in today's no photo age... available. What? what? Yeah. Go, in the yearbook, I, there, in the yearbook, there's, there's no photo somebody available? I've been looking for, look, looking for for a while. Somebody yeah. who used to go out to the club, who was friends with all of us, who just sort of disappeared from everywhere. Oh. Like he's he's not even on LinkedIn. Like I, I I don't I don't know where this person exists. Like was he a ghost? Is this just real or is it fantasy? I really didn't know what song you were thinking. <laughs> Escape from reality <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> That's interesting, though. That yeah, just like 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 from all social media. And he media. he was like he was like a banker and shit. So he should be easy to find on like a LinkedIn. Like like he was hired to a mid level management position at a bank. Did he die? Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I've asked other people who have talked to him in the past, like four to five years. Right. But not past that. Hmm. Maybe he just abandoned life and went somewhere else. Maybe he's off the grid. Girl, if I win that $1.9 billion, I'm going to be off the grid. 
maybe he got he maybe after he started working in the bank he got disillusioned with american culture and american consumerism and everything else and he just picked up a backpack nah, that's just, not that's not like it's more likely that he got a wife and kids and denied being gay oh okay that makes more sense actually <laughs> God. That makes a lot more sense than mine did. Actually. From, from Nelly Bottom to married to a man to married to a woman. I mean, um, is, it that, is it that different? <laughs> no, no. Do you? He's follow... such a good husband. He's such a good husband. He wouldn't be though. Did you follow? I mean, maybe he is to her. I don't know. Um, do you follow pegging Megan Trainer on anything? <laughs> yeah. Do you, that little gay boy she brings over sometimes? Her best friend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's I like just... her best friend from since before she was famous. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. They've been like, they've literally like, they've been like since high school. Okay. And he's, he like does, he actually has a very funny channel because he does stuff with her, but yes. he also does like gunkle stuff with the kid. Yes. 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 In the maid outfit with the high heel <laughs> sneakers. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've, yes. I seen him. I think he's a hoot. <laughs> god i if they i look to see how much how what size they had the high high heel uggs i in. know they do not have them in man sizes i really wanted to get the balenciaga heel ones uh-huh. that were the, croc, the croc heels that they yep, made yep, that's what i yep they didn't make them big enough even the knockoffs on aliexpress don't come in the room ha, have you size. seen here's the other thing have you seen the jimmy shoe jimmy choo sailor moon boots I need you to go to a Google machine right now and type in Jimmy Choo Sailor Moon Boots. I will chop off toes. You will have to. They're $15,000. I will, I will top. I will tosh. I will chop off the toes and auction them. <laughs> <laughs> I dream as a dream. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only way this is going to work. Uh, <laughs> the only at first, I was like, I got a plan. Then you said that other part, and I was like, uh. Yeah, plan I'll take you, I sell them teeth. Plan, is, plan has changed. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. They're so sparkly. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> Why can't I be witch? Why can't I be rich? Girl, and have tiny feet. Oh my gosh. I want I want to be reincarnated as a trophy wife with tiny feet. <laughs> but I want it now. I want it be- you want to remember everything you know, right? And just right. like <clears throat> oh. I'm crying right now. I actually feel emotional because I'm like, this should not be a thing that exists. <laughs> and they are they're so gorgeous. Oh, uh, you're crying. <laughs> that's so that's so unfair. Oh god. Oh god. I mean, maybe they do make your size. I just didn't think they did. It they has it has nineteen thousand. <laughs> Chorsky crystals on them. Know, girl. 19,000. <laughs> it's like a fever dream for me. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dear listeners, we apologize. I just, I, I killed, I killed Mame for a little bit. She, she's literally I, I, I have... shaking her head in disbelief at these shoes I dear listeners if, if, in much. lieu of patreon if you just want to buy us each a pair of the jimmy Choo sailor moon shoes it'll only put you out thirty thousand dollars here's a here's what's crazy oh no. you can't even you can't even just buy them what you can't just buy them okay you go to the section on the jimmy Choo site uh-huh. And it literally says, contact our bespoke services team to discover more about these exclusive made-to-order boots. Girl, they'd fit us. 
Somebody get me a hacksaw <laughs> right now. I don't need all these toes. <laughs> Girl, they, they they make them to fit you, though. But I still got to pay for them. You say what? What are your toes going to be worth? <laughs> I don't know. I'll find a collector. <laughs> if you some, just sold some, your bespoke drag items. I'll put some blue and gold on them and tell somebody they're Egyptian or something like that. I don't know. How is your husband's crystal collection going? <laughs> it's he's actually hasn't done anything in a little bit. Good. Actually, we haven't been to the crystal store in a while. Um, so, oh god! <laughs> right so now, there's no photo available of this person. He's like a ghost. Like he's the like person a we ghost talked about, or a vampire. Ooh, a vampire. So they, they've decided that they are going to the most expensive restaurant in in Atlanta. As you do, as you do, as you do. And Suzanne, Su Mary Jo's like, Suzanne, Charlene, Anthony, and I are going with you. Oh, that's so nice. They're, they're afraid for Julia's safety. Yes. And Mary Jo's like, did you talk to Reese about this? And what'd he Girl. say? And he's like, we're all dying. <laughs> I tell you right now. That is the funniest line uh -huh. from Reese Watson that he has ever said, and we didn't even get to hear him but say it. But could you hear how Holbrook sang it? Yes. Yes. In my head, I could hear him. Well, oh. so Suzanne's here. Hey, girl. Hey. And she saw Trish at the beauty shop. Oh, okay. Hey, Trish. And apparently she knows about this person. He was a huge nerd back in high school oh. with really thick glasses and stuff. Oh. Now, but how, how, however, she also wanted to mention that Jamie had to have liposuction for her elbows, and Nelva is now a complete homosexual. I, no, no, no. No, Nelva's husband's a complete homosexual. Oh, Nelva's husband's a complete homosexual? Yes. What are you doing over there? I had to, I had, something just fell, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> just moving. <laughs> the husband's a complete homosexual, not okay. her. Okay. Yeah, whatever. They wouldn't have said she's a homosexual. They would have said, like, lesbian. That's true. That's true. Well, Mary Jo turns to her and is like, well, you know, Gov Governor Clinton agreed to speak, and the mayor's interested in talking to you about this because he heard about the governor coming to town, and there's some checks on the desk if you want to go and look. And, like, Suzanne's like, do you see how much money these are for? And Mary Jo's like, uh-huh, I did. And Charlene's coming in. She's got the she's got the sonograms that she's very excited about. And her little baby was sucking its thumb. And Suzanne's just waving the checks at her like, did you see this? Did you see this? Which are you more excited about, babies or money? I think to myself, and the only What a wonderful have, world. No, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking to myself just then, I was like, in that whole scene, we mm -hmm. never actually heard Suzanne thank Charlene. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> and obviously, you know how I am about that stuff. But I literally was like, I was like, oh, I was like, ha, 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 ha. However, never, not a word of like, thank you, Charlie. Oh, my God, Charlie. Like, none of the, just like, do you see all this money? Mm -hmm. Yes, Suzanne, that Charlene got you. Yep. So Come we're at on. dinner now. Lord, at this fancy, this is the most expensive restaurant at Atlanta. The most expensive restaurant that has <laughs> some folding tables covered in... Props, props, get the folding tables. I Cover mean, them it's, like, it's like 88, 89. Y'all could have y'all could have got a set, uh -huh. a fancier set. Like, and like, like when you look at it pulling up, it's like a hotel, like it's like a Hilton. Yeah. Whatever. Surely you, know, you could have used one of the soap opera sets. Maybe, and don't call me Shirley. Um. <laughs> anyway, Suzanne's like. It still gets me. One black man and three well-heeled white women together is just weird. I don't care how far we've come. The New South. The, the New, New South. South. <laughs> well, so they they see that guy, that guy over there. Another that guy. Another yes. that guy. And oh, I love those glasses. Oh, Good color you. on you, girl. Thank you. Thank um, you. And they're like, that's Donald. And Julia shows up in a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress. Boo boo, Julia uh, looked good. She did. That hair she, teased all up too. Uh huh. Oh, and that I love a, 
a Diane von Furstenberg. I, Ugh. they are so good. They are. It is. It is the classic dress mm-hmm. that makes every woman look good. It Dude, really is. I left the listeners are like, well, we can guess who the Miss Georgia World is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what it is. <laughs> At least for me. Yeah, like that. Co- the, 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 girl, I, lo- I wore knockoff Diane from Furstenberg's all the time. I hope so. Because they give you a waist without cinching. Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. can be a big girl. That's right. And just wrap real hard. And, and ain't got to wear one of them, the $14 Amazon cinch belt. <laughs> shit don't work anyway <laughs> you get those belts you're like oh wait this stretches too oh this does not accomplish what i thought was no, going to no. accomplish. all it does is make your hernia worse <laughs> god uh well julia didn't recognize him and she's like well what did you what what did you look like in high school and he doesn't re- recognize himself either like yeah. he was just a big old head on a tiny little body and yeah. he doesn't really mem- remember anything out else. He looks like a baby bird yeah he goes <laughs> on and on and on and on about julia on and on 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 and on and on and my cipher keeps moving like a rolling stone didn't know I could do an Erica Badu by impersonation, did you? I didn't know it either. I still don't. <laughs> I was born on the water with three dollars at six times. It's like it's like uh it's like if they, they took the cast of uh, uh <laughs> it's like they they took the Yeah, you may laugh. <laughs> it's like Lois from Family Guy at karaoke just now. Oh, Peter. Hey, Lois. Lois, do the, do the Erica Badu. Lois, do that Erica Badu. You know I love it. Peter. Peter. God, I have not watched that show in. I know. Has it gotten better? I don't know. I haven't watched. I keep okay. forgetting it's on. It's still out there somewhere, I'm sure. That's why it's really. Okay. So I will say animated television for right mm-hmm. now for me is that thing that has symbolize my age because mm-hmm. things are still going and i've forgotten that they're still yeah. going yeah, even yeah, yeah. though i used to watch it religiously do you still watch simpsons no okay i watched the uh i wa- I, I was gonna watch the treehouse of horror mm-hmm. um because apparently they're doing a, they did a crossover at bob's burgers um oh. so i still watch bob's burgers uh, on hulu because it's just it's just fun. I, 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 I watch it whenever it's on. Like, I, if it's late at night and I need something, I'll just put it on for a little bit and then go to bed. Like, That's it's, what it's, I do. It's that. Like, because it is, and in an airplane, when you've got, like, 45 minutes left and it's on. Yeah. Perfect. It's good, like, it, it's good it sewing. Is, it's good, it good sewing sound. <laughs> it, it is good, like, oh, my God. The episode, like, the episode I watched landing last time was the episode where, uh, Linda kept kicking Bob because she was dreaming she was a flapper. <laughs> I felt seen. <laughs> uh, I do. I, I still I enjoy that one. The The Simpsons is actually the only thing that I weirds me about The Simpsons. It's not that it's gotten bad, but the only thing about The Simpsons at this point that's weirded me out is them retrofitting their themselves into our age now. That's the part that's weird. I didn't so, know like, that was a thing. Oh yeah, so Marge and Homer are now our age. So when Marge and Homer talk about their teens, they're uh-huh. talking about the nineties. Oh. So literally, like the last episode I caught oh. was like Marge was, uh, she like her, their theater teacher or somebody died, and mm-hmm. and they were talking about the last production they did was like of Rent, and I was like. This is so weird to me. Yeah. And it's like Maggie still doesn't speak, does she? No, no, none of their ages have ever changed. Okay. It's just at some point, I don't know Mm -hmm. in the timeline when this happened, but at some point they switched and retrofitted them Mm -hmm. twenty years later. And so now it's probably just slowly happened over time and now that you're that age you're noticing. Yeah. Well, like it's, the, it's the re- it all the time. It's the reference points, right? It's the mm-hmm. say, you know, they used to reference Homer in the 60s. Now it's Homer in the 90s. And so. So Donald's an astronomer. 
Oh, he's a stargazer. He does stargazing. He measures like distances between stars and planets. He should measure the distance between that haircut because Lord. Well, hush. So yeah. D- Julia talks about fear with him. He's like he he used to be afraid, but now he feels freed. Now that he's dying. Now that he's dying. So we're back at Sugar Bakers. And Julia and him are dancing. Isn't that a country song? I just remembered that. I don't remember. Live like you were dying. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's like, why does that sound familiar all of a sudden? I was like, I heard that theme somewhere, somewhere else. Oh, boy. Anyway, they're dancing. And uh, and like Anthony and the ladies are looking through the window at them. Them scurrying out of the way. Uh-huh. I laughed a lot. <laughs> it, it, well, and Julia's like, "Did you go to prom?" He's like, "Yes, I went to prom with Loretta Gar. Is she the large girl with always had toothpicks in her mouth?" Yes, Julia. She didn't even take the toothpick out during um, the the prom. He thought he was she was going to. So the, the, we pan out to the car when Suzanne's very nice Mercedes. Very nice. And she's annoyed. She's like, I just, I can't believe this. And who had garlic? I smell garlic. <laughs> you did. Mm. I was, so we're back inside. Did you have the same thought that I had, which was, dang, Suzanne, you probably could have solved your money problem just from selling that car. Uh-huh. Just, just. They, they were inside reading Shakespeare, yes. a quote about death. Yeah. And then Julia looks at him and is like, you know, I'm with somebody. Girl. But I could be getting into trouble tonight. This is when it got real. I was like, yes. Come on, Julia. She's already done this once. What's one more time? Shh. So Suzanne calls Sugar Bakers from outside. We're tired. Our feet hurt. If you need us, turn on all the lights. and let. Or if, if you're just a cheap one-night tart that'll be with any man with a head cold, you could, you could, you know, just be okay in there. They turn the lights off. And they're dancing in all the dark. Do-do! Do-do-do! Do-do-do! Even though they're the dancer in the dark. That's a movie I didn't like. Um, That Bjork movie, Dancer in the Dark. Um, I remember it. Did you like it? It was a movie. <laughs> I, I remember watching it with a bunch of people that were really loving it. I, was I like, mean, it is a... It is it is too much. I think it's one of those movies that I liked it because I had to... But I had to walk into it with that I already there. Like, okay. I already had an idea that this is going to be a lot of something. Okay, because I walked once... into it not <laughs> thinking anything except I was hung over. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, like... The thing is, like, with with my stupid degree that I have, like, I have this thing that I'll turn it on where I'm like, mm-hmm. art house, and then I can go into it, like, ready for this yeah. stuff. Because I've actually made the mistake of not doing that a couple of times and been like, what am I doing? What is this? This is so slow. <laughs> uh. I did that with short bus. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mame. Did you find yourself in Miss Georgia World? Julia Is it Julia Sugar <laughs> Becker? In that Diane that, Yes, dark? Annie, in that man killer dress. <laughs> oh, wait, that was a wrong choice of words for this. <laughs> just realized that. Do you remember that time you killed a co worker's dad by saying, I hope he's not dead? It wasn't the dad, it was the grandfather. The grandfather. I'm and it sorry. wasn't a co worker, it was a student. <laughs> sorry. Hey, Mame, did you enjoy this episode? <laughs> You never did that again, did you? <laughs> I'll never put that energy out there again, no. Um, so I, this is a 50-50 for me, right? I will say it's kind of like how we were last week where I enjoyed talking about it like even more afterward. Yeah. So I I do think that 
because the because the character itself that the dead guy because of I just didn't like him <laughs> as mm-hmm. a character. I think if I'd liked him a little bit more, I probably would have enjoyed this episode a lot mm-hmm. more. But like he's just so bleh. like mm-hmm. it just I don't know. It was just weird. So yeah, I'm like a fifty fifty. So like I enjoyed talking about it, uh, and it actually made me like the episode more. Okay. Yes, but also, um, once again, Suzanne should have just sold that car, and she could have probably solved all her tax problems. I, 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 I struggled with this episode because Suzanne. Here's the thing. Here's dear listeners. Suzanne's always right. Like, <laughs> just don't go out with him. It's creepy. What are you doing? Uh, like he 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 uh, he has obsessive tendencies and is staring at you and stared at you for years I, what what if he tries to kill you like i'm i'm trust the woman who was you know in a center of attention who's probably had stalkers before yes well like, i mean, i i would agree i mean i think that I obviously I always err on the side of caution. That explains my entire love life. Um, it's but uh, you do those full body condoms, don't you? Yeah, like naked gun. Um, <laughs> but the thing I think that's so funny to me is that this this fellow that was like dying and all of this stuff. It's it's weird because I'm always trying to figure out like so up until he found out he was dying, like. I kind of wanted to know what his life had been like up until yeah. then. Like I wanted to just, I just wanted to hear like well, just. He's, he said that he just like was an astronomer and thought about Julia the entire time. Right, thirty years. Thirty years. That's weird. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Yeah. Like it's yeah. like, and it's like the show never really. It's mm-hmm. kind of like it never really touched on the fact that that's unusual. That's is it's not unusual to, to stalk anyone. anyone. Hey, babe. Why don't you tell the dear listeners where they can find you so you can end this episode? Yes. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Now I got that song in my head. Um, hello, dear listeners. It is I, Auntie Mame, your favorite relation. Um, you can find me on the socials at Auntie Mames uh, with S. You can find me on, well, you can find me online. Uh, in addition to our podcast, you can also find me hosting uh, and, and doing a pa- and uh, panelists on It's Happening Out. Which Whoa, you can find this that. was rough this week. <laughs> yes. I was trying to think of how to phrase it. I was like, how do you phrase that? You can find me on It's Happening Out. Get it where you get your get, – get it on YouTube or other places online. Oh, that sounds good like you said it. Yes, so, I know. Yeah. In real life, if you want to come find me, I do improvise comedy at the Villain Theater in Miami. Uh, I host a impro- – well, not improvise. I hope it's a uh, cabaret show that's also a karaoke show called Amazing Colossal Karaoke at Killy Rydell in Miami Beach. And uh, every other month I host the uh, Dragon Burlesque stage at the Black Market, which is a all-night event in Fort Lauderdale. How about you, Mims? Hey, y'all. I'm the Divine Miss Mims. You can find me online at Divine Miss Mims. You can find this podcast – on Twitter at Baking Sugar Pod. Hey, Mame. <laughs> did you know we have Patreon? Dear listeners, if you go to Patreon, patreon.com, Mims of Mame, you can throw us some money. Hey, Mame. Did you know we have another podcast? Dear listeners, it's called You Slay Me. It's a murder she wrote podcast. Hey, Mame. Did you know we have merchandise? If you go to Mims of Mame.com, you can buy a nice shirt. Hey, name. Bitch, I get it. You know what else I love? I I love reviews. I understand that you're trying to prove a point. Don't be so sad. Well, it's, girl, it's, it's, I try, I try to give you examples of how to do things. And, 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 and like, I try, I lay it all out guys, there. But you put sass on it this time. You put sass I on lay, it. Well, time. you ain't listened it for the past 71 episodes. Why the hell are you going to listen this time? So, <laughs> dear listeners, we love ratings. And if you love this show, please give us a five-star rating and subscribe. Oh. Hey, Mame, do you have anything else to add? I hate you, man. <laughs> Say goodnight, Mame. Goodnight, Mame. Bye, y'all.